Welcome to South Sound Seniors, a program for and about older adults in our community. I hope you are having a wonderful April and that the April showers aren't bothering you too much. Um, hoping that spring is in the air and going to be with us and we're going to get some warm weather eventually. Before we get started with our show tonight though, I would really like to thank the staff and the volunteers at Thurston Community Media. Um, they do a great job of helping us to know as a community what's going on in our community and Senior Services for South Sound is just so pleased with all the support that they give us bringing South Sound seniors to you. So tonight I'm excited to have a person come back to talk to me again, but I have to say it's a crazy person. <laughs> Welcome Laurel Bussy Johnson. It's so nice Thank to you. have you. It's wonderful to be here. But you are, I've decided, certifiably a little bit crazy. Probably. Yes. Your partner over there, <laughs> Billy, is our audience, and she confirmed it also. It's true. Yes. So your face is familiar because anybody that's gone to see Wrinkles of Washington, either on the big stage or on the little stage, um, and you've also danced with Entertainment Explosion. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, so a lot of people in town know you as that wonderful tap dancer. Yes. I'm one of the primetime tappers with wrinkles of wash. Right, and yeah. that's not why you're crazy. No. No, <laughs> but you're crazy because you are going to tap dance a marathon, that's for correct. heaven's sakes. 26.2 miles. Wow, now tell me, how did this pop into your mind? Well, I have already done a half marathon. I did that in 2009, mm -hmm. and I did it to earn money for, uh, raise money for the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation. At the time when I did that, I had a friend who had multiple myeloma, and I wanted to do something in her honor. Uh -huh. And she has since passed. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, there is no cure for multiple myeloma. However, Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation is one of the prime funders of research into finding treatments and hopefully one day a cure for multiple mm -hmm. myeloma. Wow. And I really feel very strongly about this being a wonderful charity. Wow. And, uh, this must have been a very good friend to she you. She was a very, very good friend. And I decided to tap dance a half marathon because I thought if I just jog it who's going to give me money uh -huh. right. <laughs> to, to jog a marathon everybody does that uh -huh. but uh, to tap dance is a gimmick and i thought oh, you got to have a gimmick and uh -huh. it worked and I was, how much money did you raise i raised that? over twenty two hundred dollars wow and that's uh, wonderful so i started feeling i there's a lot of people in my life right now who are suffering from one form of cancer or another mm -hmm. and you can't give to everyone right but there is a crossover uh, if there's a treatment for one cancer it's possible it might work for another cancer mm -hmm. and I'm familiar with the MMRF and they do great work mm -hmm. and I thought this is my way of giving uh, yeah. because I felt like I wanted to do something to support these people mm -hmm. and uh, I thought, okay, you've done half. Uh -huh. Let's do a whole marathon. So 26.2 miles. miles. Yeah. And you are going to tap dance I the am. entire 26.2 miles. I am. Yes. I told you, you're crazy. <laughs> but now when are you doing it? What marathon is this going to be for? Well, I was originally going to do the Seattle Rock and Roll Marathon in June. Uh -huh. But the course closes too soon for me to finish. Uh, and they have to close because they do part of it on the freeway. Oh, goodness. And I remembered that Olympia has its own marathon. It has uh, the Capital City Marathon, right. which I've known about all these years and never done. Uh -huh. And I thought, what a wonderful time to do it. It, however, is a month early on May 21st. Uh -huh. And so it gives me a little bit less time to, to train. Mm -hmm. But I thought, how wonderful to do it in my where I live, right. and then people I know can maybe come down and yell at me and right. <laughs> root, root for me. So how long did it take you to complete the half marathon? It took about three and a half hours, not quite three and a half hours. So you're thinking you're going to be dancing for seven uh, hours probably or Probably so. more, uh -huh. yeah. seven and a yeah. half. Yeah, and the good thing about the um, capital city, 
marathon is that they are open for six and a half hours. They don't close the course until six and a half. But for those who know that they will be slow, they have an early start. So oh. I can start two hours early, which will allow me to comfortably, hopefully, knock on wood, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> to cross the finish line while there's still people at the finish, the finish line. line. Yeah. <laughs> so what time will you be starting this? At five in the morning. Five in the morning yeah. and tap dancing for <laughs> seven plus hours. Yes. My goodness. So you obviously are a jogger and you have run. I actually did a lot of marathons before I really got into tap dancing. Uh -huh. I've done over, uh, I've done 11 marathons and at least that many half marathons. Wow. You are a high energy woman, <laughs> Laurel. Oh my goodness. But when I started getting into tapping and tapping every day, I didn't have the time to do jogging. Uh -huh. So that right. was another reason why I decided to tap dance. Right. Uh, so instead. when we were talking a little bit before the cameras got yeah. turned on, it sounds like you do a lot of dancing, not just an hour a day or I, yes. a couple times a week. I take at least four classes, sometimes five classes uh -huh. uh, a week, and that's not just tap. I take ballet. Uh -huh. And um, I used to take clogging and ran out of time uh -huh. to take that, but I do clog. Uh -huh. So you clog, ballet, right. and tap dance. Yeah. Um, and then you're in, well, the primetime tappers and yeah. then work different shows. And you were just telling me of another group that you're performing in different retirement facilities yes, and stuff. Yes, I, I have gotten together with a woman named Alice Brown who has a lovely voice. Uh -huh. And she and I are taps and tunes. Taps and tunes, I love that. Yeah. That's and great. We do about a half an hour show in the retirement communities uh -huh. because our audience, an half an hour is fine for them. They don't uh -huh. need a whole hour. Right. They're ready to be uh -huh. done. <laughs> and we have a lot of fun together. Nice. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. All right, so now for this marathon, you're still trying to raise money for the cancer yeah. research. Yes. So how are you going about raising the funds in regards well, to tap dancing a marathon? Partly here. Uh -huh. I'm hoping that people will hear this uh -huh. and say, oh, I, I could give them two bucks or uh -huh. whatever. Right. And that's the interesting thing. And when I did the uh, half last time, that was in 2009, most of the people who donate to me are seniors uh -huh. on a limited income, and they don't have a lot of money. And most of the money that they are designating for charity already have been designated. Uh -huh. So, you know, I don't expect if people can give that they give very much. Uh -huh. But um, two dollars here, five dollars there adds up. adds up. And when I uh, I was on a team with the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation team, uh -huh. uh, I had the most donors. I didn't wow. have the most money, but I had the most donors. Oh. And I felt that the $5 or $2 that were given to me by people who didn't have very much was equivalent to the 500 that the people who were working, who were getting money from their bosses or right. coworkers, was yeah. the same, right? proportionately. Yeah. yeah, just, well, the you really raised the consciousness of yes. people as you reached out to them yeah. for support. So how, do you have a goal set for this? I have to raise, uh, I'm, I'm committed to raising $1,000. Uh -huh. And so far I have 880. 880, mm -hmm. yeah. wow, well you're getting closer. Well, I just happen to have, it's the beginning, well, middle of the month, and I still have some money left. So I would at least get you to 900. Oh, thank you, you very go. much. It's going to a very worthy cause. <laughs> and I, I, once I reach 1,000, I'm not stopping. Uh -huh. I hope to continue right. raising money right. if I can. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's cool. And we were also just talking that if people that are listening to the show are interested in contributing, that we will have a envelope at the senior yeah. center people could mail things to us at the olympia senior oh. center and that address is 222 columbia street northwest olympia washington 98501 and just make sure the envelope says for the tap dancing marathon crazy person <laughs> it doesn't have to say, doesn't have to say crazy person it can just say marathon, marathon or tap dancer yeah the people work. at the senior center will know what it's for Yes. And I really I appreciate anything that people have that, that they can donate. Wow. Yeah. Pretty amazing. 
So now I've got the really big question for you. Yes. I know that at the beginning of June, the wonderful wrinkles of Washington, including the primetime tappers, are going to have another great show at the Olympia High School Performing Arts Center. We are indeed. Are you still going to be able to dance <laughs> when it comes to June 3rd after a marathon in the middle of May? Well, I'm planning on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning the dances with the primetime tappers. I sure as heck better be doing yeah. them. <laughs> and you, I mean, last year I seem to remember that you had I broke some. My foot. You broke your foot. Yeah. And it's recovered. It has recovered. And yeah. so that you can tap dance on the street yeah. for 26 yeah. miles. Wow. Well, I admire <laughs> you. You're very high energy and. You also disclosed to me your age. Do you do that to the public I don't public mind. At I'm large? 72. 72 years yeah. old and tap dancing a marathon, not even just running a marathon. That's pretty amazing. Well, I think running is actually harder oh. because you have to go faster. <laughs> oh. And when I when I did marathons, I was really more of a jogger than a, a, a runner. Kind of, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. I, I finished. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Laurel Bussey Johnson, you're an amazing high energy woman who's making a difference in this world in many different ways. But thank you for your concern for your friends and doing this in honor of them and in memory of your one friend that died from cancer. Thank, thank you for having me here. Oh, you're very welcome. It. And remember, you can send any funds if you want to support Laurel in her endeavor of tap dancing a marathon to tap dance marathon at Senior Services for South Sound. And you can see the address below. Thank you so much and thanks for coming in, Laurel. Thank you for having me.